The White House is trying to tackle the latest heat wave sweeping the U.S. More than 100 people gathered to discuss the high temperatures and how to tackle them. Some of the solutions included giving first responders more resources and improving infrastructure to combat the heat. So many heat records were broken this summer. Some scientists say 2024 could be the hottest year in history. While well, back here in Alaska, Aaron, this past summer was pretty rainy for us and we had a lot of wind over the weekend. Yeah, a hot one down south. Meanwhile, here across uh, South Central, we continue to chase what could be another wet year. We're currently sitting at the third wettest year uh, on record through yesterday. Uh, and you can see those winds uh, still gusty across the state from the Aleutians through southwest Alaska and here in South Central. Our winds over the last uh, 24 hours have been anywhere from about 20 to 40 miles per hour. Max winds for Anchorage topped out right at 40 miles per hour. And we have been seeing those winds uh, die down somewhat this morning, down to about 30 miles per hour. And each hour, we're going to take off about two to five miles per hour uh, from those winds. As we welcome in the afternoon, those winds do begin to die down, uh, really favoring western parts of South Central and through parts of the Copper River Basin, uh, where we're going to see that better opportunity for winds for the first part of today. And then the second half of your Monday, going to be quiet, going to be beautiful. Get outside, enjoy some of that sunshine, maybe dodging a shower or two. And then what we're going to be watching tomorrow as rain builds back back in as some winds increasing once more across South Central, although nowhere near what we woke up to uh, this morning. But we will continue to hold on uh, to some of those breezier conditions. The winds that we're seeing this morning, thanks to an area of low pressure that's been building northward through the Gulf of Alaska, uh, that's also keeping some rain through Prince William Sound. But we're really favoring, again, those stronger winds uh, across western parts of uh, South Central. There's our parent low uh, out towards Norton Sound. That's going to slowly build inland through the next couple of days. Uh, as it does, we're going to see several upper-level disturbances wrap around that. That's going to keep cloud coverage with us, uh, as well as some shower chance for parts of the state here over the next uh, couple of days. Here across South Central, just some isolated showers to be expected for today. Uh, those temperatures warming, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Cooler, though, through Prince William Sound, where we will uh, hold on to some rain showers for most uh, of your Monday. We're still watching some showery potential out towards southeast, although things will dry out uh, as we welcome in the afternoon hours. We'll catch a break before more rain arrives as we welcome in our Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, by tomorrow morning, uh, notice through the overnight hours, we'll begin to see rain building northeastward through Kodiak, uh, southern parts of the Kenai as you head out towards Kachemak Bay, Homer. Uh, you'll begin to see that arrive, uh, rain arrive by mid-morning tomorrow, and then that will gradually build to the northeast, becoming widespread uh, throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So we've got additional rounds of rain heading our way. Uh, that's also going to impact southeast as we welcome in the middle of the week. Uh, and we're going to continue to hold on to this daily chance for some rain through at least Wednesday. Beyond Wednesday, uh, that rain is going to become more spotty to isolated in nature and not as widespread as what we've been dealing with. Temperatures today across southeast warming into the mid to upper 50s. Again, watching some scattered showers. We got some winds across western parts of the region uh, for the uh, for Kenai, where we could see those winds anywhere from about 20 to 35 miles per hour. Uh, not dealing with any winds through Prince William Sound, but rain showers and cooler conditions to be expected. Uh, Golcana seeing some of those breezy winds as you head through the valley. We've got some of those morning winds as well, uh, primarily impacting areas along the Parks Highway, uh, where we've seen those winds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. So winds died down this afternoon. Gorgeous second half of the day, just dodging a few showers. Rain builds in through the day tomorrow, uh, carrying us through Wednesday. And you can see uh, fall officially, officially begins Sunday. Daily highs staying in the lower 50s. All right. Thanks, Aaron.